This week I decided to take a break from renovating the van to head out in my old trusty van to try out a new toy. I get a little wet. As much as I'm loving doing up the van, I really needed a day out. And I've actually got something with me today that I can't wait to share with you. Now the people over at Bluefin Stand Up Paddle Boards have sent me this for free. And I'm actually gonna give it away to one of you. So I was literally here thinking to myself, I've already got a paddle board. They wanna send me another one, which is absolutely fine. They're not paying me for this, but they have sent me this for free. And I figured, well, what can I do with a second paddle board. As much as I'm probably gonna wanna keep this, cause this, I've looked it up on their website, this is worth a lot more than the one I paid for. I decided that it would probably be better to, to give it to one of you. And I'll explain at the end of the video how you can enter. But first, I think we should get it open. Right. Probably shouldn't have used the knife to open that, but hey ho. Oh, wow, look at that bag. Duff. I'm gonna keep the box, one, so that I can get it shipped to you, and also so that I don't lose any rubbish. I do love it when people wrap this stuff up in, in paper rather than plastic. Two paddles. You don't really see these that often when you when you order a paddle board. From what I believe, I think it's like somewhere to put your key or any valuables you've got when you're on the board. It also comes with a few tools in there as well, a puncher repair kit, stuff like that. Alright, so this will be the paddle board itself. There's a <laughs> cool. Like a backrest for like when if you want to sit down on there. So much. A bracket to uh, support your paddles when you're out there. And another one. A really, really nice heavy duty fin. One leash. <laughs> Sometimes it's just the little touches, like they've put a, uh, they've put a little case for your phone in there, which it's just the little thing. It's got their brand on it as well. Another fin, another fin and spare clip. Tell you what, you can always tell when it's a quality product by the, the amount of effort that they put into just like literally the carrying bag. Really, really strong metal zips. Nice little section at the front to keep your stuff. I uh, really like that. I actually bought an aftermarket paddleboard bag for my other paddleboard and it's so big, I reckon you could probably fit two paddleboards in there, but this looks like it's actually designed especially for this one. Now you're probably all just mainly wondering what the paddleboard's like. Should we have a look? I would probably recommend, if you order any of these, open it at home before you get to the beach, because, yeah. Especially on a windy day like today. It's always a handy thing as well, it's got a strap so that once you've deflated it and you want to get it in your bag, you can do the straps up, tighten them up, and then it should go into the bag a lot easier. Right. Oh. -ho. And there it is. This is their voyage model. I'm gonna blow it up, but not here because we're gonna to go to another beach because we're not gonna go paddleboarding in the swamp pool, but we're gonna head over to the main pool for a bit, but looks really good. I believe this is probably just the pump. Wow. Even 
even the quality of the pump, like this is metal. The other one that I've got is pretty much just plastic. So I'll be honest, I don't tend to use pumps when I'm pumping up paddle boards. I have an electric one just because I'm lazy. But yeah, it all seems to be really good quality stuff. Right, well, I suppose we better get it pumped up. Now, part of me kind of feels like I should probably at least attempt to use the hand pump on this, but just so that you can sort of see how good the hand pump is. So I might just give it a quick couple of pumps, but I'm definitely gonna use the electric, the electric pump. <laughs> Yeah, solid pump that, solid. This is pretty cool with this pump as well. It has one side which says inflate, and then on the other side it says deflate. So once you've let your paddle board down, if there's still that little bit of air left in it, you can literally attach this and deflate any last bits of air. I mean, they might all, all pumps might have that, but as I don't use them, I'm, I just don't know. Here's something quite interesting, I've come away from the sound, but there's actually three inflation points on this paddle board. Now the reason why I think it's a good thing that there's three inflation points in this, because technically if you were out in the water and you had like a puncture or anything like that, and the main part sort of just started deflating, you'd still have an inflated section that you could, uh, well, hopefully get back into shore with. Yeah, it's just little things like that. Now the recommended PSI for the main part is between 15 and 18, and the sides are just free. You know, even when it comes down to attaching the fins, it's such an easy system. It literally just slots in and clicks. Why over paddleboard? You pretty much have to like break your hand just to get it off. Let's get it in the water. So you know earlier when I said it had, it had two paddles? Well, I didn't quite get that right because it's not two paddles. It's literally one which you can have as a paddleboard, which is what I'm gonna do today, like that. And another one where you can join two ends together so that when you're sat down, you can almost use it like a kayak. But for today, we're gonna to be paddle boarding, so we're just gonna use the one paddle. Carryability seems absolutely fine. Now there's a reason why I decided to come to Mainporth to take the paddle board out, because just around the corner there, I've done this loads of times before, I normally snorkel out there. I don't think I've ever paddleboarded out there. There's a shipwreck called the Ben Asdale shipwreck, which is literally just around that corner. I figured why not on its first voyage, take it out to see a shipwreck. It was a really nice, calm day for this, didn't I? <laughs> gotta, get out past, gotta get out past the breaking waves. So just over there is the shipwreck. Don't actually know if I can get any closer because of the way that the, the tide is and these waves. I don't really want to end up against the rocks because then that might pop this paddle board and then I can't give it away to you guys. Right over there, maybe I'll send the drone over so you can take a better look. But 
this you just tried paddling over there and the current is so strong I just don't want to pop this board up against those rocks I've only had it five minutes They've got these little handles here, so if you were saving someone in the water or if you had kids with you and they wanted to hold on to the side, then they'd be able to do that. I just think it's just, it's almost like they thought of everything. Handle at the back. This is where your uh, fixings would go if you were going to use it as a, as a kayak or something. You've got a little cargo net here for keeping a dry lock bag with you or, or something, but yeah. Really good, just a shame it's not a calmer day. Let's see if we can catch a wave in. There's two annoying things about that. One. There's a few terrible things that happened with that, with that wipeout that just happened. Number one, I obviously fell in. Number two, my hat's now soaking wet. And number three is I've lost my sunglasses. And I'm not bothered that I've lost my sunglasses. That's not the issue. The issue is that I've just added plastic pollution to, the, to this beach. So I'm a bit gutted about that. But to make up for it, I'm going to take this spade back with me. So even though I've added a pair of sunglasses to this beach, which are made of plastic, I'm going to take a bit of plastic away. So if you are interested in purchasing a Bluefin Voyage, like the one I went out on today, it's 10 foot, 10 inches long, or if you're interested in any of their other products, I'll list their website below. And if you want to be in with a chance to win the one that I used today, now, it's not gonna be a brand new one that they're gonna send you out. I mean, it's technically brand new. I've used it once, but it will be sent from me. So here's what you need to do to enter. You have to be a subscriber of this channel. All giveaways on this channel are for subscribers only. You have to leave a like on this video. In the comments, leave a little surfer emoji. You also have to be a subscriber to Bluefin's YouTube channel. And I'm gonna completely choose the winner at random. So it doesn't matter where in the world you live, it will get sent to you. I'm gonna be announcing the winner on my other social pages my Instagram page and my Facebook page. So make sure you follow me on both of those um, just to make sure that you don't miss out because I'm gonna be revealing the winner on the 25th of February. So just make sure that you follow my stories on Instagram and on Facebook as well. Once I've revealed the winner, you can DM me on Instagram or Facebook with your address and everything and I'll get it sent out to you. Also, there will be no camping this evening and there's only one reason for that. And it's because my wife's pretty much ready to give birth any day well she's got about two weeks left but any day now she's gonna she's gonna give birth so i need to be at home to take her to the hospital so i'm not going to be staying out in the van tonight hope you understand Ugh. all right well if you do actually want to see a video where i actually went out to the the ben asdale shipwreck there was a it's been a few times that i've snorkeled out there but i'll link that video there check it out and i'll see you next week Cheers.